Right now, new details on breaking news from overnight. A young girl dead, apparently shot by someone just a few years older. We all fear for it. You, 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 we'll all sleep and come around and just shoot us. The twist to a local homicide case that has a family terrified for their lives will explain why the suspected shooter is able to walk free tonight. Also, a gut punch headed into the playoffs. Star Brewers reliever Devin Williams out, and wait till you hear why. He only has himself to blame. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. A 15-year-old could face a reckless homicide charge after a shooting that left an 11-year-old dead. It is the second of two deadly shootings in as many days in the Madison area. We've been following the story after it broke last night, and Brady Mallory joins us now with what police say happened. Brady? Well, this happened on Curry Court in Fitchburg. Someone reported a shooting last night just after 9.30. When police and paramedics got there, they found an 11-year-old girl. They took her to the hospital where she later died. Police say they arrested a 15-year-old who was at the scene. He could soon face a charge of first-degree reckless homicide. So far, investigators haven't released the names of the victim, the 15-year-old suspect, suspected shooter, or a motive, or if they even knew each other. However, they say there is no threat to the public. They aren't looking for any additional suspects, but we will bring you any updates on air and online as we get them. Brady, thank you. Free and not facing any charges. The Madison man arrested for shooting and killing his roommate is out of jail tonight. That shooting happened Monday night on Madison's west side. Our Adam Duxter spoke to the man's roommate and landlord who told him they fear for their lives. Adam? Well, the Dane County District Attorney recommended the jail release Doyle Reifert, who goes by Jay earlier today. And Reifert lived in the home off Raymond Road with seven roommates for years. And on Monday, allegedly got into an argument with one roommate in particular, Brian Swan, before shooting and killing him. Today, the Dane County District Attorney's Office made the decision not to charge Reifert. And in a statement, District Attorney Ozan said he, Reifert was protected by Wisconsin's Castle Doctrine, since he alleges Swan had come into his room without permission and then took an aggressive stance. Today, the person who owns the home says Reifert owed thousands in rent and made threats to him when confronted about it. He claims Reifert also made comments about shooting others before. Everybody here virtually would tell you uh, this guy should not ever, ever be let out in public ever, ever, ever again. Never see the light of day. He is a threat to the world, to anybody, the whole mass and community, wherever he goes. The landlord and other roommates say Reifert seemed like someone who could snap and turn on them on a dime. They filed for a temporary restraining order against him and say their biggest fear is now he could come back. The Dane County District Attorney's Office has not returned any of our calls for comment today. Tonight at 6, we'll hear from Brian Swan's family, how they're mourning the loss of the person they say was both a loving father and grandfather. Adam, thank you. And this just in, a judge has issued an arrest warrant for a suspect in a homicide that happened on Labor Day in the city of Madison. That warrant for 18-year-old Jeremiah Kane, charged with first-degree intentional homicide. This is in the shooting death of Nicholas Cook. Happened on September 6th on Martha Lane near Cottage Grove Road. Police say Kane may be in the Madison area, but has ties to Chicago. Officials say do not approach him. He is considered armed and dangerous. Multiple students at Beloit Memorial High School were taken into custody this morning after a disturbance at the school cafeteria. Police say students were fighting, but no weapons were involved. One officer did receive a non-life-threatening injury when attempting to take a student into custody. That officer was taken to a local hospital. The high school was placed in a soft lockdown while officers addressed the incident. Madison police were stationed outside of two schools today after vague, threatening remarks started circling on Snapchat. The Shank L Elementary and Whitehorse Middle School principals say they got reports about inappropriate images and a vague threat of bringing a gun to school. Administrators reported the threats to Madison police and they began investigating yesterday. School officials are reminding parents to be aware of what your children are doing on social media. It's very important that our uh, families uh, have discussions um, with their children on how they are using social media and the language that they're using, and also monitor uh, their uh, children's use of social media, engage them in conversation about what, uh, what they're doing and what's being talked about. 
School officials think they know who the student, student is who made the threats. Those involved will face disciplinary action based on the district's behavior education plan. Another sunny fall day today, but we could see some showers later this week and into the weekend. Let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast. Meteorologist Austin Kopnitsky is on the weather patio. Austin? That's exactly right. And outside we are staying dry, as you mentioned. The rain chances really do look to hold off until Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. Just a slight chance to see a passing shower here late in the day on Friday. Most of us are going to get through the day on Friday staying dry. Right now, however, outside, it's a little on the warmer side of things. 81 degrees right now. Dew points in the middle 50s. So it's not necessarily muggy out here, but it's not nearly as dry as what we have seen, especially as of late these last few weeks. Temperatures again widespread. Most of us are in those lower to mid 80s. Still a few upper 70s, however. Camp Douglas and Wisconsin Dells both check in at about 79 degrees and again some mid 80s right around Mineral Point, Monroe, Janesville as well. A lot of community current communities currently seeing those middle 80s, but also the dew points on the rise right now. Notice how we have some 60s out west as well. So those slightly higher dew points, it's going to help to add some rain chances a little bit later on down the line. But our wind speeds not bad right now. 5 to 10 miles per hour as we are looking to stay dry here for the rest of tonight. Partly cloudy skies, a low of 53 degrees, but we're looking at some big temperature changes later on down the line, as well as those rain chances. So I'll have all the details you need to know coming up a little bit later on. All right, Austin, thank you. The CDC issued an urgent health advisory today for pregnant women, urging them to get vaccinated to protect against COVID. The CDC says only 31% of pregnant people are vaccinated against COVID. The advisory comes amid a larger push to fight vaccine hesitancy. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky talked about what's at steak. We know that pregnant women are at increased risk of severe disease, of hospitalization and ventilation. They're also at increased risk for adverse events to their baby. But for the first time in months, the CDC is predicting new deaths from COVID-19 will likely decrease over the next four weeks. New numbers show COVID is continuing to spread in the Madison School District. In the past week, 81 new cases of COVID have been reported in the schools there. Nearly 500 students have had to quarantine. Meanwhile, a slight increase in Wisconsinites who have completed their vaccine series. 53.6% of the population have gotten their shots. And in Dane County, almost 71% now have completed their vaccine series. Series. More than half of the total population of the United States is now fully vaccinated against COVID-19. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention released new data today. It says 55.8% of all Americans are fully vaccinated. That's more than 185 million people. But the seven-day average of new vaccinations is, one, is at one of its lowest points since the CDC started tracking the information in January. About about three and a half million people have gotten a booster dose over the last month and a half. And COVID booster shots don't appear to be producing side effects more severe than a second dose. According to the CDC, less than a third of people who have received that third shot have reported any side effects. Of those who did, the most common complaints were injection site pain, some fatigue, and a headache. Most of the people who experienced side effects said they were significant enough to prevent normal activities the day after that shot. The CDC characterizes those effects as brief and mild to moderate. The data comes from more than 22,000 people who have received third doses of an mRNA vaccine. People in downtown Madison who showed their vaccine cards were rewarded with some free pizza today. It's part of the Slice for a Shot event that was put on by Opportunity Wisconsin and Ian's Pizza. The first 100 people who showed their COVID vaccine card received a coupon for a free slice at Ian's on North Francis Street. Boy, some tough news for for the Brewers, the organization announcing reliever set up man Devin Williams now out for the rest of the year. Now, this is what happened. It's pretty unbelievable. He suffered a fractured right hand after punching a wall while drunk after Sunday's celebration after they clinched the NL Central. His injury likely now will require surgery. Wisconsin Department of Workforce Development taking a step towards modernizing its system after Wisconsinites had problems applying for unemployment benefits during the pandemic. DWD has selected Flexion Inc. to implement technology solutions to its website. DWD says the company based out of Madison will provide rapid improvements to customers who need to apply for unemployment benefits. Officials say starting next week, their modern center will be active and will improve the experience for customers.
there's going to be a virtual agent component there. And uh, eventually that uh, updated modern call center will have the ability for folks to file claims over the phone and get current status of their claims any time of the day, night, weekend. DWD also offering new services for job seekers and employers. The updates will be federally funded with over $16 million coming from the American Rescue Plan Act. Dane County is investing in clean fuel infrastructure as part of the 2022 budget. Dane County Executive Joe Parisi said the county will invest more than $10 million and will further reduce Dane County's reliance on diesel fuel and will help the county reach 100% carbon neutrality by 2030. I'm including nearly $2 million for installation of a new CNG filling station at the Fish Hatchery Road Highway Garage and $3.2 million for the purchase of eight more renewable natural gas powered snow plows. Parisi says the county will also invest $3.2 million for hiking and biking trails in 2022. UW-Madison officials say they have a record freshman enrollment, and it's due in part to pent-up demand among high school graduates who spent much of last year taking classes online. Nearly 8,500 new freshmen enrolled at the state's largest public university earlier this month. That is up 12 percent, and nearly 1,000 freshmen from the previous record set in 2019. The school says nearly 3,900 students, or about 46% of the freshman class, are Wisconsin residents, which officials say is the most in 20 years. Coming up, the Red Cross is in dire need of blood donations right now. How a man who dedicated dozens of gallons of blood is inspiring others to give back. That's ahead at five. Fill the lake. The Wisconsin DNR is filling Madison area lakes with fish. Which ones anglers can expect to catch? We'll have that story coming up tonight at six. And midweek for the markets, the Dow gaining back some of Tuesday's big losses with a 91 point jump. The NASDAQ lost another 34. S&P adds seven. We'll be right back. No one has ever reinvented mattress shopping until now. The grand opening of Slumberland Sleep Solutions, where we've simplified, uncomplicated, and laid things out for you. Start with a quick rest match to pick your basic mattress type. You love memory foam. I really do. Then shop the information and rating system on each bed. Did you know you can get great back support with a soft feel? It's true and easy to find. Mattress shopping, reinvented only at Slumberland Furniture. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's gonna be wider. If you have yellowing between your teeth, if you have coffee or tea stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And in each five minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour and start using the power swabs five minute solution just snap swab and smile after just seven days the results were awesome power swabs was easy to use every day and each day i could see it better and better and from beginning to end it's definitely wider uh, they look clean they feel clean um and people have made comments about it, which is nice. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Order Power Swabs and receive up to 40% off the retail price. And as an added bonus, by ordering in response to this advertisement, get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 40% on your purchase and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free Free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit powerswabs.com today. New developments tonight. One child has died and another in custody after a shooting in Fitchburg. We're gathering all the new information for you tonight at 6.
Plus, he gave gallons and gallons of bloods selflessly. Today, a blood drive to honor his memory. I'm News 3 Now's Josh Breider. I'm visiting the people, places, and events that make this area one of a kind. Tell me what inspires you, and it might be featured on News 3 Now this morning. In the 608, weekdays on News 3 Now this morning. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. A Wisconsin man known for donating more than 100 gallons of blood in his life is inspiring others through his death. Talil Moladeen visited the blood drive that the man's family held today in his honor. It's been less than a year since Brad Mortar passed, but those who knew him best are making sure his passion for giving lives on. In Lodi today, dozens of Brad's friends, family, and community members rolled up their sleeves to give blood in honor of a man they say was always helping others. Brad's wife Patricia says he would have been very proud to see that so many people turned up. If I could say something to him today, I think I don't even think I'd have to say anything today. I think he'd be sitting here with the biggest grin in the corner, smiling. In 42 years of donating blood, Brad gave 108 gallons, which made him a familiar face to the Red Cross. Members say today's memorial blood drive will help with the current critical blood reserve shortage, the worst in six years, but more help is still needed. Red Cross representatives say in addition to needing blood donations, they're also in need of volunteers to deliver and distribute it. In Lodi, Tahim Hadin, News 3 Now. The Red Cross would need to collect 13,000 donations a day nationwide to end the blood shortage. If you're looking to give, you can visit the Red Cross's website to find the closest donation center to you. Well, in Spain, red hot lava from a volcano on the Canary Islands hit the sea overnight. That triggered huge plumes of smoke and some fears about toxic gases. Authorities are warning residents within a two mile radius to stay indoors with windows and doors sealed. Experts are tracking how much gas is coming from the volcano concerned that streams of lava flowing into the Atlantic could trigger explosions and clouds full of toxins. That volcano has wiped out more than 500 homes and more than 7,000 people have evacuated. Experts predict eruptions on La Palma could last well into December. A new tropical depression has formed in the Atlantic. The National Hurricane Center says Tropical Depression 20 is moving south of the Cape Verde Islands. The system is likely to become Tropical Storm Victor today. An Experts say it could become a hurricane Friday. The storm is not expected to make landfall. Instead, it will move northwest through the open waters of the Atlantic over the next week. Starting to run out of letters on those yeah. things. Let's get our local <laughs> force. It has been a beautiful week so far. Austin Kopniski joins us now with more. Austin. Yeah, we don't have any uh, volcanoes erupting here. We don't have any hurricanes to watch out for. We've really been sitting pretty all week long, and that trend will continue for the rest of the work week, but come towards the weekend, we are are tracking that next slow moving system, which is expected to bring some showers and a possibility of some thunderstorms. But the 80s, they're back. They've been back the last few days. They're going to stick around here again for the rest of this work week. The back half of this forecast, however, doesn't look nearly as warm. I'll get to that in just a moment. But you take a look at our shower chances. The weekend right now looking pretty wet. Most of it will be some showers, small possibility of an isolated thunderstorm, but we're not expecting severe weather here for the weekend. And then we cool things down afterwards. Again, we're not going to see the 80s returning to the forecast after we get through this week, at least for a little while. Still a possibility, however. But you look at our Doppler track and right now staying completely dry. That's exactly what we're expecting here for today as dry conditions are generally going to persist. So let's talk temperatures. Future track does show by tomorrow morning. Temperatures will have fallen back down into the lower to mid 50s and then towards the afternoon tomorrow, much of the same situation. Those lower 80s taking over and then sticking around and then we just pretty much repeat that all the way through Friday. One or two models still trying to bring some showers here in the afternoon on Friday and this model also much of the same. This one does hold it out to the west quite a bit. At least until after the sun sets, but then it does look like those showers are generally going to move through, especially on Friday night and through a good majority of Saturday as well. Unfortunately, taking a look at our rain chances right now, we are going to bump this up here for Saturday up to about a 70% chance of those showers and storms on Saturday for Sunday. It does dial back to just about a 30% chance, and then we're looking pretty smooth afterwards. Just a few slight chances for some showers here at the very end of this forecast. Six to 10 day precipitation outlook 
does show that we're still going to be a little bit drier than average. That has not really changed over these last few days. And even with those slight chances for some showers towards the end, we still are going to generally stay a little bit drier than average. Current temperatures, not bad. Upper 70s for some, low 80s for most of us, and even some middle 80s for quite a few communities. Janesville, Monroe, Mineral Point, Lone Rock, Bosque Bell, the list just keeps going on. 24-hour temperature change does show that these temperatures outside right now actually a little bit warmer than yesterday. Not too much warmer. We're only talking about five degrees or so, but this high temperature trend is going to continue to decrease. Taking a look right here towards the back half of this forecast, we're not even seeing a lot of 70s actually. I still do think a few of these days are going to touch on those lower 70s, but we're talking upper 60s and these are high temperatures. So that means overnight temps likely going to fall back down into the 40s. Thankfully, our dew points aren't too bad, but out west right now, a little bit muggier out around La Crosse, Bosque Bell, Platteville. They've all jumped into those lower to mid 60s right now. So a little bit of some elevated humidity there for those dew points out west. But our wind speeds again looking very excellent. 5 to 10 miles per hour. No issues really to speak of here with these wind speeds that we're looking at for today. And your extended forecast does show those chances for some showers and storms, especially again on Saturday. By the time we reach Sunday, just a chance to see some showers here and there, and then a few slight chances afterwards. So not the greatest overall chances to see these showers and storms developing and rolling through, but I would say that our best shot right now is going to be in the nighttime on Friday and throughout a good majority of Saturday. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, I know Saturday, a lot of people off work. It would be nice to get a little bit more sunshine over the weekend, but we got to soak it up this week while we can. Taking a look here at our first warned traffic, your normal slowdowns on the Beltline as of right now, but no reported accidents, at least nothing that's showing up on our system currently. Taking a peek down towards Janesville, it is much of the same, but things are moving a little bit smoother down towards Janesville right now. Overall, it doesn't look like weather is causing any traffic disturbances right now, at least. All right, Austin, thank you. The clock ticking for lawmakers to avoid a government shutdown. We'll have the latest from the White House ahead at 5. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. This is a Wisconsin brewmaster. He brews the local craft beer. The beer that washes down the Oktoberfest broth. The broth that pairs with the potato salad. The potato salad that befriends the burger. The burger that tastes like victory. Festival Foods. We are Wisconsin. Guys, do you suffer from erectile dysfunction? Now there's great news. Peak Performance for Men will help you regain your performance and confidence naturally. Peak Performance for Men uses an advanced form of acoustic wave therapy. Clinically shown to open up and regrow blood vessels, restoring normal and natural function ability where it counts most. There are no needles, no surgery, and best of all, no pain. Call now and receive an ultrasound. Your initial consultation, all for free, in over $300 value. Call Peak Performance for Men today. five-star quality, five-star value, and five-star customer service. Because at Quartz, you're the star of our five-star Medicare Advantage HMO plans. You're the reason why Quartz offers the region's top-rated Medicare Advantage plans. With 2021 plans starting as low as $0 per month, with coverage for medical, hospital, and prescriptions. Learn more by requesting your free Medicare Advantage plan comparison guide from Quartz today. And because we're a five-star plan, you can enroll right now. In addition to offering five-star quality, Quartz has put together an all-star team of high-quality providers featuring UW Health. It's no wonder that 99% of our members stay with Quartz. Switch to Quartz Medicare Advantage. Call or go online to request your free planning guide from Quartz or enroll today. I learned long ago, if you've got the right tools and a little know-how, you can do it yourself. And no wall of mine's gonna get some dime a dozen paint. Pittsburgh Paints and Stains, premium performance from start to that tough, washable, one coat finish. It exceeds expectations of what makes great paint. Pittsburgh Paints and Stains, get 11% off everything. 
including Pittsburgh Paints and Stains. I don't just play someone brainy on TV. I'm an actual neuroscientist, and I love the science behind Nariva Plus. Unlike ordinary memory supplements, Nariva Plus fuels six key indicators of brain performance. More brain performance? Yes, please. Nariva, think bigger. This is a Wisconsin farmer. She grows the locally sourced freshness, the freshness that complements the wild-caught salmon, the salmon that tees up the cheesecake, the cheesecake that sweetens every moment. Festival Foods. We are Wisconsin. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. With the clock ticking, Congress and the nation is trying to avoid a government shutdown. Congress has until midnight tomorrow to avert a shutdown that could furlough thousands and hamper government agencies. Republicans remain opposed to approving a funding bill tied to raising the debt ceiling, something that Congress must do by October 18th or face a new recession. Democrats' reckless taxing and spending spree will earn it zero votes from Senate Republicans. With so many critical issues to address, the last thing the American people need right now is a government shutdown. The president has been working behind closed doors to find common ground with moderate Senate Democrats who are opposed to the $3.5 trillion price tag on his social spending package. Without the reconciliation bill, several progressive Democrats in the House say they will not sign off on the president's $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill, which is expected to come up for a vote tomorrow. For a second day in a row, top defense officials face tough questions, this time from a House panel on the chaotic U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. Were you of the opinion in your professional military judgment that we should have maintained 2,500 troops? Yeah, my assessment that I read in the opening statement remained consistent. That contradicts the president's statements during an ABC News interview last month, but Joint Chiefs Chair Mark Milley conceded that maintaining a presence beyond August would have imperiled U.S. troops. An investigation into the August 29th drone strike that killed 10 civilians is ongoing. House lawmakers have called for the public release of intelligence that led to that attack. We'll have a final check of your first one forecast in just a moment. Stay with us. Furniture's 42nd anniversary sale. Save up to 42% off store wide. Get 42 months free financing plus tax included on purchases over $9.99. Huge selection in stock now at A1 Furniture. Madison's locally owned family furniture store. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape, so we can help everyone stay connected for less. And less also means more, as in more choice. While the other guys may limit your options, at U.S. Cellular, you choose any phone and we make it free. That's right, visit our store and any phone you see is free. Plus, get unlimited data for $30 a month and get the most out of our state-of-the-art network, wherever you choose to go. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Important healthcare announcement. If people tell you your TV is too loud, or if listening in some environments has become difficult, we are requesting your participation in a special program called the 30-Day Challenge. Hearing Life Hearing Centers are seeking people with hearing difficulties to evaluate a new digital mini hearing aid now being released. To take part in this event, you must call. Please get a pencil and write down the number below. All people with hearing aids or hearing difficulties are wanted to take part in the 30-day challenge evaluating a new high-tech device that sits discreetly behind your ear. This hearing aid is Bluetooth enabled and is rechargeable. All hearing assessments are performed at no charge for those taking part in the challenge. Participants will try these hearing aids for 30 days. Call the number below and take the Hearing Life 30-day challenge. If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to completely resolve your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you can save, call now. 
1-800-914-7929. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes and we could save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk to call. Credit Associates. Live better, debt-free. We'll even show you how to use your stimulus money to jumpstart our services and get you debt-free faster than you ever thought possible. Call Credit Associates now to see how much you could save for free. Call 1-800-914-7929. A1 Furniture's 42nd anniversary sale. Save up to 42% off name brand mattresses and get 42 months free financing plus tax included on purchases over $9.99. Huge selection in stock now at A1 Furniture. Madison's locally owned family furniture store. Coming up, it's a busy news day. The showdown on Capitol Hill. Can Democrats and Republicans reach a deal in time to prevent the government from shutting down? Plus, the price of child care in America. How caring for your children could exceed the cost of college tuition in some cases. And tonight, we honor an American hero who paid the ultimate sacrifice 70 years ago. The CBS Evening News is just minutes away. All right, let's go back to Austin. Final check of the forecast. Yeah, and you know, it is a pretty good one here, especially for tonight. Partly cloudy sky slightly milder conditions as well with a low of about 53 degrees but I'm still really overall liking this extended forecast we are now seeing those shower and storm chances especially on Saturday even Friday night as well but then a lot of that's going to drop off here on Sunday we're only expecting about a 30% chance to see a shower here and there and then afterwards we're looking generally dry but notice how a lot of those days still do have that slight chance of rain most of that's just going to be a slight chance to see a passing shower Hour with most of the day staying dry, but look at what these temperatures are going to do here. Saturday, mid 70s, Sunday, upper 60s, and then we really struggle to recover afterwards as these temperatures really look to hold out there in the upper 60s and low 70s. Well, we've been lucky so far, Austin. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. We're back in 30 minutes for News Three Now at 6. CBS Evening News. Nora O'Donnell is next.